hey everyone welcome back to our channel all about bi in this video i am going to tell you how do we write if else expression in mapping data flow okay so the requirement is simple we are going to derive year column from a date column the logic is this if the modified date is null then make the year as 9999 otherwise uh, convert that modified date into to date and then bring the year out of it and then convert back again to string this is what we are going to do in this session so if you see my data flow right we have a modified date column i am going to derive year from this modified date column i am going to add one more uh, derived column transformation and then here i am going to add a new column called year and then i am going to give an expression for it so as i have mentioned here if the modified date is null make it as 9999 so i'm just copying the same expression i'm putting it over here if the modified date modified date i need to uh, okay this has to be syntactically correct modified date is null there is a function called is null okay so so we can make use of that function here if is null of modified date what it is going to do is it's going to check if the modified date uh, is null okay if it is true then make it as 9999 otherwise what we are going to do we are going to derive the uh, date out of it or year out of it right so uh, this is true part for the if condition this is the expression it will evaluate if the expression turns out to be true it will take this value otherwise it's going to take the next value next value in the sense we are going to uh, take the year portion out of the modified date column but my modified date column is uh, a var char column if you see here it is abc right so it means that it is a var char column we cannot make use of year function to a var char column we can make use of year or month or uh, day functions uh, on top of a date column only so what i'm going to do i'm going to convert the var char column to a date column so here i have to pass my column name and then i have to tell the first portion is month second portion is day third portion is year okay once i convert my date into to date i can take year from it and then finally i can convert it into string okay and we cannot give 9999 as such because it will treat it as a column okay we don't have a column called 9999 we just want to give uh, it as value okay so that's why i have enclosed it in single quote and then i have uh, taken year from the modified date and then after taking the year i'm just converting it into two string and finally i'm closing the parenthesis okay this is how we write an Uh, if else condition in a derived column transformation so simply what we did we are just checking if this is null if it is going to bring null then treat the year value as 9999 otherwise uh, convert the var char to date first and after converting to date take out the year from it using year function and then convert it back to string because uh, we have to pass similar type of values in the if part and the i mean true part and the false part okay you can keep on writing expressions on top of it for example you have checked if uh, the modified date is null here okay if you have some other condition like uh, for example if the rightmost portion rightmost values of modified date i'm taking the last four characters okay why i why i want to take the last four characters is i want to deal with the year part so i'm just going to check if the rightmost characters rightmost four characters they if they it is equal to 2006 then consider it as 2016 okay so like this you can keep on writing the if condition okay so what i am doing i am first checking if the modified date is null if it is true then 9999 will be considered otherwise the loop will or the control will come to the next if condition next if condition what it does it is checking if 
द राइट मोस्ट फोर कैरेक्टर्स ऑफ मॉडिफाइड डेट इज ईक्वल टू टू थाउजेंड सिक्स इफ इट इज ट्रू इट विल टेक टू थाउजेंड सिक्सटीन अदरवाइज इट इज गोइंग टू सी इफ देर इज वन मोर कंडीशन हियर सो वी कैन राइट वन मोर कंडीशन इफ द राइट मोस्ट इज टू थाउजेंड सेवन टू थाउजेंड सेवन देन आई एम गोइंग टू ट्रीट इट एज टू थाउजेंड सेवेंटी ओके सो we have uh, if within if now okay so this is the outer most if if the modified date is not null it will come here and if condition is if this condition is not true uh, then it will come here okay so if the right most four characters are equal to 2007 then treat it as 2017 otherwise take this as the default expression okay we just have to make sure we are closing the parenthesis in the appropriate way okay so we need to close uh, two more parentheses here so i'm just doing that here i've closed the parentheses but still it is showing uh, red scribbles right so we have to check where we missed what so this is the first condition if it is true it will take this otherwise it will come here if this is true then this will be taken we have missed a comma here so if this expression is not true uh, then 2016 will not be taken the control will come here this is going to be checked at the last so if the modified date uh, the last four characters are 2007 it will be considering 2017 as the year value otherwise by default this expression will get evaluated so this is how we write if uh, Uh, else condition and multiple nested ifs okay so the only thing that we need to take care of is the ordering of parenthesis and comma okay uh, so this is as simple as that if you have any questions let me know otherwise i'll just uh, proceed with the next steps all right we are just checking if this expression is going to work out or not what we are expecting is if the date is null we should see 9999 If the year is two thousand six, we should be seeing as two thousand sixteen. If the year is two thousand seven, we should be seeing as two thousand seventeen. Otherwise, it should bring the actual year that is there in the uh, modified date column. Okay, so that is all with me. This is working fine now. It is as same as writing a case expression. So it depends on your uh, uh, comfort. Okay, if you are comfortable writing case statement. go with that otherwise you can make use of nested if if else like this okay thanks a lot for watching keep supporting